offers. She came to me and said this once. She said he's like, I, I'll just use it in terms like you did. She's like, I went and boom took a battle with my ex the other day. I was like, okay, I didn't care because it was an open relationship. So she mm-hmm. we were into, but uh, I was you know, so it was no big deal. But you know, it's not a real relationship. It's just kind of like you know, friends with minutes kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> friends with mileage. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. Mileage on my yes. car, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that's is it. Yeah, worth the uh, price and gas. Hey, in go. South Carolina, good lord, you can get. Uh, I saw it as cheap as two seventy three for premium mid grade. Wow. And I got. So I buy members at mid grade. Premium mid grade, man. It's between it's between ultimate and mid grade. It's premium mid grade. They actually have four. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay, I get it. So it's three of them, four of them, regular, it's big, great, premium. Is everyone made of water? <laughs> I don't know. But How it, much is gas a gallon now? Here or elsewhere? Here. Down, here, uh, average is like... $2.99. Two ninety nine. Yeah, wow. Right at $3. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you go to uh, down Hensville Road, they got some that's two eighty nine, two eighty three. So gas tax here is just... Yeah, a little over the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little? Yeah. I, I'll you say can a little slide up closer. With an exclamation point at the end. You might get on. You can wave. You can stick your hand out and wave. And you, you know, I, I, I'm really thrilled that the tea party is packed almost every time. It now. is now. Yeah. This yes. that, that's, that's, that's awesome. Because... Uh-huh. Well, it means you're, it means generating enthusiasm, and people are finding this a wonderful place to come. Because I know when you first got it going, like it was packed all the time. Then it seemed to just kind of like taper down for a while. It was the first wave of people that had been showing up. Some of them mm-hmm. started sloughing off, as it were. And the novelty of having a live tea party mm-hmm. at URTV wore off slightly. But as a whole bunch of new people are finding this place, right? And and we miss you, Davine. If you if you're watching us anymore. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and if, if Alan's making you mad, he's been uninvited, so he won't be back. <laughs> we, love we, we have to uninvite people from time to time. We find some people yeah, are inappropriate to have them keep happen. coming, so we, we uninvite them. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. Devine, we love you. And your brownies are truly exceptional. And they're That's not right. that kind of brownies, but they're still good brownies. I know, but they would be good even if they were that kind yeah. of brownies. They would even be better, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. Brownies are one of those kind of things that I'd have to be in the mood for them to really yeah. enjoy. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not. I was in the mood for brownies, and then they told me that I was too old. <laughs> Well, that's just not That's right. kind of like being told you're overqualified for a job. Devine's brownies are, <laughs> you know? One little brownie you know? of Devine's, there's so much sugar and chocolate in these things uh-huh. that, I mean, forget coffee, just just <laughs> oh, one of these brownies. and It makes ooh. you wonder how one could get that much chocolate into a brownie, doesn't she it? She got a lot of chocolate in one of those that's brownies. Right. They're good. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That was good. Yeah, oh, right. oh, like, <laughs> yeah, serious, like serious, clinging to the ceiling kind of energy brownies. Mm-hmm. All right, next time I come, I'm not saying that I can one up that because that that just sounds like one of those things that just can't be touched. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But next time I come, I'm bringing uh, peanut butter brownies from scratch. So, mm-hmm. ooh, fabulous! Right, we'll cool. I've never had in peanut butter brownies before. Really? No, that sounds quite tasty. You, sound sir, good. have nothing to talk about to me. <laughs> Never had peanut butter brownies. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, I'm a <laughs> sheltered kidding. hermit. I don't go out. John knows that. Well, then we'll have to fix that. Sure, I'll never go out. I'll just go home, go to work, and go right back home. Where Thanks. do you Where do you work? I'm a security guard. Where? Whack and Hut. Oh, at different places. Oh, I used to work for Whack and Hut in Winston-Salem. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, good. Well, if I'm ever Carol robbing, a, if I'm ever <laughs> robbing a place late at night, <laughs> no, I hope I hope that you're the that security. That <laughs> <laughs> I used that before I ran their shirt. I, I was in whack a nut. I was like, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's true. 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 Yeah, but they're crazy, Because you know? I get to whack a nut if someone, like, steals. <laughs> <laughs> whack a nut. <laughs> they actually have a... They get to carry the club. They have a, and a, a site whack a nut. on the internet, and they actually sell stuff that has a whack and hut on it, but it's not with our company, and they bought a clock, a little desk clock, and it said whack and <laughs> hut, and then it... Always get yourself a coffee mug. That That's always thing. what I yeah. wanted. Yeah. <laughs> But Do you drink from a Wack and Hut coffee mug? No. <laughs> I have to wear their uniform, but 
But you don't have to oh, drink out of the coffee yeah. mug. Right on. <laughs> See my mug? See what mine says? NASA. NASA, I saw that. Because I'm, yeah. I'm a mad perfect, scientist. Perfect for a mad scientist. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. NASA. Can you pass it? NASA. 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 Yes. Yes. Please. That's so. great. T. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Oh, wait, wait, no, that, oh, wait, that one. There we go. You had, uh, we've added a little bit of. Um, awesome. That would it would be condom flavored. Steep <laughs> 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 <Ew. laughs> I'm gonna assume that this refers to a joke that took place before I came in here. Yes. Well, no, it was a couple of weeks ago. We had actu actual ones on the table, and we. Those were are the same for, ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they don't expire by now. No. <laughs> I think a little, you know, even if nobody ever takes just one, for a little Valentine's bowl of Day. Prop. Oh, yeah. For Valentine's Day, that's they right. They don't have to say Magnum, they just have to say extra large on this one. Yeah, well, everybody claims that? that, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, being an anarchist, everybody will claim it, but um, very few people actually can follow through. Absolutely. Same thing with the extra large. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. <laughs> oh, I looked on, uh... One size fits all. Hello? <laughs> One size fits all. <laughs> Hello. You didn't say that Hello. really. <laughs> See, one size fits all. It's kind of like something uh, that's no, an extra I told medium her to give me a call or a, if she needed me it's to come definite, get her. Maybe. It's good stuff. Okay, okay, okay I'm coming. It, it's sort of, it sort of like fits, no pun intended, everything. It's nice. I'm leaving and I'll be back. Okay. We'll look forward to it. Yep. Be careful. Thank you. Okay, and Mount Dungeon so tonight. Mount Dungeon Woody tonight, Wood. 11 p.m. Woody Wood and Hollywood Red. Hollywood awesome Red. episode. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Yes. And yeah. Mount Dungeon stickers we now have at various places for free. Yes. Mount Dungeon. Here, hold, yeah, here, here, hold the sticker up. up and, and, yes. Particularly and a, the, uh, a, a very... Look at the uh, TV screen. Okay, let me back. Look at the TV screen. Popular. I'll keep it up. Yeah, Look, hold, hold, this, hold the sticker yeah. up. Yeah. Hold the sticker, hold right the sticker up. Right, right, yeah, yeah, there, there you go. go. That's actually a pretty cool picture right there. Pull it back <laughs> a little bit. Mount Dungeon. A civilized heart rate. Okay. Yes, oh. Mount, Mount Dungeon. All right. stickers. Now available. At coffee shops that are and, open 24 and, hours everywhere. And things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh right. Yeah. This is the this is the most I've gone out this week. See, I don't go out anywhere. This is this and the I think I went to buy uh, nice. a hair a hair straightener the other day. <laughs> and uh, that was the only time I've gone out to work. And how things go with the hair straightener? I got it, and it was actually a pretty good one for only twenty bucks. Okay. It's a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. So yeah. How exactly does that contraption work? I hate Wages to admit, hate to tell you, but they missed some in the back. I know. Well, I curl that. I curl oh. that. Oh, okay. But no, uh, no. You press the button, plug in the wall, and it's porcelain, and the, you know, like, and you just clamp together on your hair and. Uh -huh. Why would you want to do that? I'm just curious. I, I don't hair. like. Well, yeah. I I, like, I already have straight hair, so I'm. So it's like, well, I'm actually curly, so. Oh, excellent. I hate that curly hair. And how long does it last? <laughs> The straightening. It'll it'll pretty much stay this way, but I just clean it and get it. I can style it the way I want with that thing. Right. Yeah. And you know, I, the one I had before lasted a whole year, so twenty bucks. You know, not a bad deal. I got my use out of it. Yeah. And believe me, I'm always someone that gets use out of something if I spend money for it. Especially twenty bucks. Think about all the sober punks out there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't waste. About money. all the what? Sober punks. Sober punks. Sober punks. I don't waste money <laughs> on <laughs> things. The only reason yeah. I drink when I go to a bar, like at Jolly Rouge, is because it's common, it's courtesy. If you go to a bar, you can buy a dr at least a drink and tip two dollars if you only buy one drink. Yeah. It's kind yeah, like that. that makes sense. You gotta buy at least one one. Day, and if you only and buy you one, tip. you have to tip two dollars, yeah, not one. Not one. Yeah, because you're just buying one. That makes sense. You have to tip two bucks. Okay, that's fair. Sure. <laughs> and and uh, it's kind of like that thing like I mentioned earlier with like you know what would any of you say if uh, your best friend. Okay, I'm saying it's just guys here. Our best friend had a girlfriend that we were really attracted to, and then that they would split up, and we wanted to move in on that girl, but we didn't want to hurt our best friend. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You have to wait till she gets a new hairdo or a new tattoo, right? Or well, no, I, no. My, my my theory was you wait two Saturdays or a new hairdo, whichever comes first. Do you, do, you, do, you have a, do you have a heart tattoo? No, yeah, that sounds about right. Tattoo. Yeah. Who who had who had the heart that was a fill in the blank? Ooh. 
Do you remember oh, that? Do you remember I've that seen too? One of those. I is thought, this be, is this a test that I was supposed to study for? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're just, if you have a rem- remembering brain cell left or not. This actually, is. actually, uh, Norman Rockwell did the uh, getting ready for a date um, portrait, do, if you remember. Like, do you do things. you remember somebody with a tattoo in the courtyard with a tattoo with a heart and all, and there was a line, and, and they would fill it in with, with a, 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 a Sharpie, and it looked like it looked like it was really Real, a, a tattoo. But, but, they could cha- but they could change it. Every week, you know. I think I, was, think I thought that it was, was you. That was Arya. Okay, I thought it was you. I thought that was. No, I thought that the. Me. I thought that I'm was. The, that I thought that was the cleverest tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> a, a heart with a fill in the blank. Like, uh, <laughs> if they uh, supported Obama, per se, they could put Obama in the heart, you know, uh-huh. to support Obama. And then, and then next week it could be Gumby. Right. You never yeah, know. Exactly. Uh-huh. Just, as, just to be a mockery or, of something or something, you can use it to mock, mock people with. You know, or. Or, like, put it in the heart, I'm single, get over it, or something like that. <laughs> okay, you may have noticed that we added a little jasmine to the tea. Did you? Did I did. You, I, I, something was different. Now I recognize did, it as jasmine. Did you like that? Yeah, Was I that did. okay with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you're putting sweetener in it or not, but with the jasmine, I find that uh, uh, at least one lump of sugar really brings it to life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? The one look at mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, does, should we have someone pass it up to you? Yes, please. Mm-hmm. Pass him up the... <laughs> The lumps. All right. Sugar there for you. <laughs> oh, right. oh, have you? Maybe you've used it all up now. Oh well. What the tea? Yeah. No, I still have some, but okay. is there still? Uh, I don't think so. Well, maybe. It, all right. Go ahead. Well, there's some in the next. I threw some in it. Okay. Too. So maybe what I'll do is well, I'll throw it in there and yeah. get it real sweet. And... Yeah. Try it different ways. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Huh? Mix it up. Well, how do you? What do you think though? We have, we do come up with some pretty decent teas, don't we? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I used, I actually, I used to drink, well, I would spend some time in uh, Thailand, so uh-huh. I, I drank jasmine tea fairly frequently. Uh-huh. But uh, I'm not much of a tea drinker, you know, uh-huh. on, the, on, the, on the regular. So, yeah. yeah, it's interesting to sit around and... Uh-huh. We get, we get our teas, teas from Wu, Wu Yi Mountain in China. Wu Yi? All of them? Uh, mostly. We have some other things, yeah. too. But So you're obviously a tea... Connoisseur. I mean, you're. I just, it. I just happen to be lucky enough to have a friend who, whose family business is the the Wu Yi Tea Company in China, oh, and, that's and, a, and, lucky and, and they have, <laughs> and they have the finest teas in the world. I mean, they have the finest, yeah. some of the finest teas in is China. That who brought the inspiration for the tea party? No, well, in a way, yes, because originally the the original idea was this. Well, see, we 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 had a we didn't have much programming when we first started, and we had a. a television camera sitting in the lobby and we had uh, a fish in a bowl I remember yeah that, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, 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 would, that would swim around and sometimes they would turn the camera around <laughs> to, toward like Jonathan's desk and stuff and you would see who would come and go but but it, it wasn't all in all it wasn't it wasn't really thrilling television not that this is but it was <laughs> hell, it nice. was perhaps a, a little like like some days the most exciting thing would be if Jonathan picked his nose <laughs> you know so <laughs> right, right. you know that was worth calling someone hey look Jonathan's picking his nose <laughs> you know, and, <laughs> hey, so um I see Jonathan Jonathan's probably being embarrassed by that. So, so anyway, I came up with this idea. I said, and, and this room right here had been Jen Mass's office, but she had moved into the next one. And it had originally intended to be um, um, a, a studio. And so, but there were no cameras and stuff in here. And I, and I said, well, you know, and, and, but it was starting to turn into the break room. And so where people were sitting around in here and eating their lunch and, and having a cup of coffee and stuff like that. And I said, let's do, let's do a, a show. Uh, it'll be the coffee break. And the coffee break will be a lot more interesting than the fish. Than the fish. Yeah. And so, oh, okay. So and I thought, the I, format of so I, thought I would just sit a camera in here and it would be the coffee break. Well, when I got ready to do it, uh, it turned out I didn't have any coffee at home. But I did have some tea, and that was partly due to the fact that I have friends that have the Wuyi Tea Company, and I had, I had this really good tea, and so, so, so suddenly, you know, and the next day I woke up and I said, no, it's not the coffee break; it's going to be the Mad Scientist's Tea Party. And there you I, go. Okay. And that's All what right. it was. I had cool. tea. Cool. Making. Uh, and that's so. That's and that's it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what was the Mad Hatter's uh, fraction on his hat in Alice in Wonderland? Anybody know? Yeah. Oh. Uh, fourth. 
16th and a fourth or 16th? Uh, no, no, the fraction. A, the fraction. It was, the fraction. The card on is yeah, it, is it the card. Uh, is it four thirds or something no, like that? Like four sixteenths. No, it's, it's, no he's right. There's 16th, there's 16th and, a, and something, something. A 16th and a fourth, I think. And a fourth? Okay. Or if it's four sixteenths, that would actually be four. If you, you know, well, yeah. Well, thing, I, mean, I don't know. First did you did you plug your show? Correct math question. I've got no idea. No, okay, then, so then sit down and plug your show before you go. <laughs> okay, I better plug Hang my show on. real quick. Let's see, here we go. There you go. Yeah, lean up. Look at the camera there and say. Okay. Say. Be sure and watch. Yeah, be sure to watch the Casey Waters show this Sunday at 9 p.m. on your TV. Um, if everything works out with the. Uh, um, a submission and airing of the tape. The tape's been submitted, but it has to be programmed into the system. Assuming that works out, the show will be Down the Mountain, which is original material of mine, which is about a religious seeker who goes up a mountain and has all sorts of visions and stuff, and, well, you have to watch the rest of it. And the... Uh, um, Next part of the show is the Edgar Casey Primer by Herbert Perrier, Ph.D., and um, I basically discuss the book a little bit and read from the book. So overall, it's a pretty good show, I think, and hopefully everyone will tune in. All right. Sorry, sticker here. Yeah, All right. I, don't, I don't have a sticker yet, so it's like, oh well. We'll work on that. Casey oh, Waters, right. five o'clock Sunday night. Nine o'clock. Nine. What did I say? Nine five. O'clock. Nine o'clock Sunday nine, night. Nine o'clock Sunday night. All oh, right, everybody have a good night. You will. You too. Be careful. All right. I will. Right. Nice to meet you. Nice Thank you for coming. You. Good to see you again. All right. Good seeing you again. You betcha. All right. Nice meeting you, Stitch. All right. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right. And hopefully you'll have a. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy, Happy coming Sabi up something. few days. <laughs> you never know what's around the corner for tomorrow. Happy Who knows? Sabi, That's right. I look at it as like this. I am oh, single. Right. 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 Yeah. All right. I am technically yeah. single for my third straight Valentine's Day. And I've saved a quite a bit of money due to this. <laughs> See? I really I believe, you know, right as I've gotten to know this guy, I believe that that is a legitimate concern with him. That he that I mean he's being that's really that's really him I mean you know well, it's like Valentine's Day I went to the movies with somebody's wife yeah and who and who and, <laughs> and who and who paid whose way no she paid mine all right that's, <laughs> that's you're a, making that's, money off Valentine's Day now right. hey hey it's about time to switch roles man mm -hmm. yes the whole candy and chocolates and diamonds there was and once stuff a guy like I was bringing up the chocolate thing a guy it was like an old manager of mine he went and uh his boss. Said, you want me to pick up Al I'm going to get my wife some chocolates. So you want me to pick up Alice? And he's like, sure. Comes back. He's like, $40? He's like, and then he took it to, he's like, fine, whatever. And then he took it to his wife. And uh, he said, like, uh, she's like, he, 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 he gives it to her. And he's, and he's like, here, I want to see what a dollar fifty piece of chocolate tastes like. He's like, uh. And she's like, uh-uh. She won't let him have a piece of chocolate. A <laughs> dollar fifty piece of chocolate? <laughs> Kind of reminiscent of uh, Pulp Fiction. I want to see what a five dollar milkshake tastes like. Yeah. Was it five or eight? No, nah, five. I was at a joke. It was like, like it got whiskey or bourbon in it or nothing. Place. Five dollar shake. <laughs> Recently, <laughs> they had a ten dollar yeah. piece yeah. of candy. That's a great. I was scene. like. That candy better do something more than make my. Uh, yeah, well, what it was was a uh, <laughs> it was a uh, strawberry that was dipped in chocolate and had a shell uh, shell around it. Ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Horse crap. Mm. It was a big thing. I will <laughs> give you this. It was, a, it was a very big strawberry, but still, you know. Yeah. It was I at least two bites. Five dollars a bite because it was two bite a two bite strawberry. <laughs> well, so if you if you eat it in one bite, is it half price? <laughs> <laughs> no, if you got one whole, unfortunately, okay. they'll cut it in half. I wish they would. I still wouldn't pay five dollars for that though. I don't blame you. I don't, yeah. I don't eat candy unless it's free anyway, so you can't eat five days. Well, the, the, the strangers always have the best candy anyway, so. Yeah. And the best tea. <laughs> yes. Strangers have the best coffee. Candy. Candy. And tea. What brought on this teddy bear thing of Valentine's Day? 
I see these advertisements for like eighty dollars. Hallmark cards. Hallmark. Cards. Yeah. Oh, steal. It's just no. The Vermont teddy bear. That's been some oh my genius gosh, those marketing like right there. They're starting everywhere. Starting at fifty dollars. I'm like, I'm not paying. Only fifty dollars. Is that how much it is? Starting. Like $50 starting teddy bear? at fifty dollars is what the keyword is. All the way down the what else? What else is it? What else do you get? You can get um specially designed, like wearing a certain little outfit or something. Like with two heads. <laughs> oh, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. I like my teddy bear with two heads and six paws. But they'll have like you can get like a biker teddy bear with sunglasses, or you can get you know like a whatever you want, a little doctor teddy bear, a little fairy teddy bear, whatever you want it designed, and if they vary in price, I guess. Depending on how much material they had to use, which the material for that teddy bear probably was not even five dollars. But you know they're making like a. No, I'm sure. <laughs> you know. I wonder where the whole thing was stitched together. Surely, if it was done in Vermont. It better be a Buckingham Palace for fifty bucks. <laughs> Guatemala. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, wherever they can get them stitched together, the cheapest probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fifty dollars. Well, some sweatshop, you know. And the problem is, there are some girls out there that are expect that their boyfriend to get them that for Valentine's Day, or no. it's over. No. Or it's over. Or it's like, over. Uh, it's over. You, you it's over. You'd be uh, better off dead. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, God, not, not in years. Yeah. But uh, John Cusack, he's got the little little teddy bear, and he's, like, calling up his girlfriend, and, she, and he's like, oh, so the other guy got you a bear bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, ah, and he throws it down. It's pretty awesome. Nice. I don't expect anything. I don't care if you're in a relationship, day. you know, as long as it's a good day, it's fine. Today's just a normal day. It's just a regular day. Yeah. It is. It's just a regular day. But, I mean, some people blow it inside of abortions. It's funny because right now, we're, we're sitting here, there's someone going out to dinner for like a, a meal that costs like a thousand dollars just for Valentine's Day, you know, and it's absurd. I was watching uh, one part of a show on the news the other day, and it was showing on how much guys spend on... Valentine's See Day zero. and how much women spend on guys for Valentine's Day. Definitely zero. And <laughs> this one guy sh said that he was spending $200 on Valentine's Day for his uh, fiance, and then she was going to fix him dinner that, that night and then he was going to take her out to dinner on Sunday. And so he said basically about three hundred, four hundred dollars. So there's a meal that was hundred, two hundred dollars thrown in there. That he was gonna spend on Valentine's Day, and I'm like, well, that's stupid. You know, you you can use some of that money for groceries or for your car payment, insurance. You know, I mean. Yeah, but he was wanting, <laughs> but, but he was wanting to make sure to for the get a relationship. Waddle waddle bean bang. <laughs> Well, the thought, you know, the only thing that matters is the thought. The thought is the only thing that counts. Even if you get a card or if someone just comes up and tells you Happy Valentine's Day. I'll think the card sounds pretty good That's today. the only just thing the that counts, you know. Mm -hmm. If a woman expects you to go out and do something for them just to show that they love you, I mean, well, thanks, you know, but... I really don't expect you to do that, you know, because you can spend that money on something that's really necessary. Well, here's one. As, uh, in Washington, D.C., where I'm from, they have the, you know, the Metro bus system, which, like, is absolutely phenomenal because if you miss the last bus at 3.30, you can catch the first one at 4.15. So, it's nice. <laughs> Either way. That's there awesome. was this, day yeah, on there. There was, uh, there was this one... Um, <laughs> there was this one bus driver that always did, uh, always did, um, what was it, uh, Massachusetts Avenue, which intersects all the way with Pennsylvania, all the way into, you know, the latter side of the city or whatever. And, uh, this guy, on, uh, on Valentine's Day, would have flowers that he picked from his garden, and every woman that got on the bus would get a flower. And it was the driver. It's just, it was nice. Yeah. Like... Yeah, that's cool. That's an experience. And like on Mother's Day, on Mother's Day, he had roses for everybody that got on with a kid. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I sat up See? for three nice hours this that's morning cool. sending comments, uh, having Valentine's Day comments on MySpace to about a hundred of my the girls on my list. Be back. Be back. Here, have a seat. With a hat this yeah. time too. Yes. It took me three hours to do that. If you slide over close to Lord Raven, you'll be likely to be on the screen. 
I wasted so much of my time this morning. Sitting the other left. Wasting time. But it was something to do. It, it, it kept me occupied. You know. <sighs> I've recently come into uh, started it, it get gone in interest in uh, asking people that I've that randomly friend requests me from the other side of the world. What's it like over there? Uh huh. And uh, they've told me like you know. Did you tell them it's upside down. Oh, I, 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 I told them that here. I told them here. I just, I, it's upside. Not only is it upside down, but it really is upside down because our country is whacked out and all that. And I've asked them, what would it be like if like a, a person like me moving there and a, would it be hard for me to adapt, find a work, uh, the dialect? And he said, one of them said, well, the dialect might be something you'd have to adapt to, but finding work in the capital is easy. They said. And of course, the living is expensive. They said, of See, course, it's true. You know. Is it too weak? Thank you know what the cheapest, well, li- where the cheapest living in America is? It's not Asheville. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where, where is it? Tell us. Where is it? Where is the cheapest I, living in, in America? All I want you all to give me what Do your you thoughts know? on. I, I I have an idea. I, I've been told this was it. I don't know well, if it's well, it's here. Well, I, want to hear I think I, I actually think. actually I think it's I think it's a uh, Maine. Bingo. Maine. But Maine and Vermont, and Massachusetts, right in there. No, 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 no. definitely, uh, definitely not Massachusetts. Not because, Mass- because but, but Vermont and Delaware. But if you have, if you have any mm-hmm. clue how to do construction, don't any sort of construction, like I'm a girl, I was I, trying to say is I, I think like I made, I made twelve recall, fifty just, an hour just, apprenticing to sling drywall in yeah. DC, so, and yeah. I'm totally certified. But nobody in this state will hire me because, well, I've, I am a girl. You're totally certified for what? Sling a drywall. I can finish. I can. I can paint. Are you good at drywall? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, should I ever take build, my word for it? Should I ever build a house and you're sober? I should have. You. <laughs> <laughs> I should, I should. The last person ever going to happen. So. Uh. But I mean, if you're doing any kind of work like that, you can't be sober. You That's can't. So you gotta put my drywall. You better, you better be sober. <laughs> no, it's, it's no fun if you're sober. Really, you're you're like do that. the ceiling. Can you walk around on stilts and do the I would. Ceiling? I would never. <laughs> I want to just clarify no, no, something. No, I just, I just pile up, I just pile up empty milk crates. I see. And and wait to fall and bust something right. so I can get my eleven percent for workers' comp per hour. I, got you. <laughs> I do. I try to do anything that I actually consider important. I try to do sober. And the non-sober part is <laughs> at the end of the day well, when I got rule everything of done. I needed to get done that day. It's like, all right, let's do it. What a lovely but, rule of thumb. Yeah, that's yeah. Very, very insightful. <laughs> Things that are important. And just sober. Just be sober. Yeah. sober. Try to be sober mm-hmm. for the important things. Well, there are people in this town <laughs> that I know that are just, you know, that, that they're not sober even when they are sober. Like, there was a manager I had once, and he asked a, a bookkeeper <laughs> where I worked. He asked him this. He asked him, um, so, Jay, you going on vacation this week? He's like, yes, yeah, sir, we're flying out of, of town Friday. He's like, I want a plane. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Oh, Got a new experimental government <laughs> jetpack. <laughs> yeah. Rocky Pierce got nothing on me. Mm-hmm. That's it. Oh, right well, there. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was just too much. Uh, I, had, I had somebody ask my friend in uh, LA County Jail. He was like, Yeah, Hawaii. He was talking about, you know, a bunch of train hopping kids, and they were in county jail. Guys like talking about going to Hawaii, and, and this guy comes up and he's like, Man, you hopped the train to Hawaii? <laughs> 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 Like, yeah, yeah, it was the, the Rainbow Line. Mm-hmm. There was a guy once that asked a guy I work with. That was over the Rainbow Bridge. Indeed. <laughs> he asked him this. He's like, do you, do you, do you guys, you sell uh, ice here? He's like, yes, sir, we do. He's like, is it cold? <laughs> oh, it was a Chinese guy, but still. I mean. I'll, see, I'll see that and I'll raise you one. Okay. <laughs> On the back of children's cough syrup. It says, do not operate he- heavy machinery after taking this. <laughs> <laughs> it takes all the now, fun out of it. Timmy, be careful with that backloader. Jack up on uh, DM syrup and, you know, set them loose with the bobcat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Parking lot of Walmarts. Yeah. You think, you think this is a good TV show? Holy crap. It could be better. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Like all those, uh, you see on some sports channels, all of those say like school bus demolition derbies. If you actually have those things driven by seven-year-olds hopped up on cough syrup, wow, think about it. And pixie sticks. Yeah. 
and Ritalin. Crystal meth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not that I'm suggesting this I actually be. I always thought of uh, possibly trying to start uh, using uh, like a shot injector to inject myself with caffeine to see if it'll like have any different effect. If it's, a, if it's any better. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like, you know, uh, like, caffeine, like, you know, like, hard coffee or something. Just <laughs> hard coffee. <laughs> hard coffee. Perhaps, you, you perhaps some that red rock coffee. Inject a little of this jasmine tea might be nice. <laughs> hard coffee. Yeah. Have, That's terrible. Well, you know, in the I'm getting older and more lame category, uh, ca- not e- I can't even, can't even do caffeine like I could 10, 12 years ago. Uh-huh. Just, I certainly oh, did it again. Yeah. I'm going to die from the sugar more? high because I get free donuts at work, so, you know. And I take advantage of it. Sure, just a little bit. There you go. Just a splash. There you go. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Very good. All right. Yeah, I used to get free pizza at work. And they, um... I heard if you work at Pizza Hut, you get free all the free soda you want. And then they started putting a lock on the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have to jump in the top. That's why we are climbing boots. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha on one anyway. I'm catching up. They, they, they've actually they've actually done that with a lot of a lot of really good spots around town. Apparently, it's a crime to be poor. So. Right. But, well, I saw this one sign once. It was like a it was a church sign. It was naming the sermon for the week, and it said, "Why do the rich get richer and the poor get poorer?" I'm like, "Listen to me, man. The rich do get richer, but the poor don't get poorer. The poor maintain." Sort of like like treading water. Yes, they're yeah. gonna maintain. They're not gonna because there's a certain <laughs> level you can hit here. of poor, and then you can't get any more. Poor. Yes, so they're not gonna get poor. <laughs> so they maintain. Yeah. Is that a war? Yeah, I know. Sure. But they, I mean, really speak. And I was just like, this is just some preacher that's just, you know. I think church marquees are quite possibly one of the best venues in the world because you just go by there, you, you just pop it picture. open, you can change it to anything oh, you, you want. You sent me a yeah. great picture, speaking of. That was not the one I meant to send, you believe it or not. You know. I saw, I, uh, this was on America's Funny Some letters. Videos, this was really awesome. It was a, uh, a giant billboard on the side of the road, a couple took it, it said, uh, it was like adult movies. For adult movies, the next billboard over up down the street, malevolent picture of Jesus saying, Jesus is watching you. <laughs> that just deserves applause. I'm sorry. Well, it's, I'm sorry. Yeah, about one ten thousand dollars on uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. And he said, Yeah, I was just driving through my town I've been into since I grew up there, and he was just I was like, What the wait a minute. <laughs> it was just like, he was like, I gotta film that. <laughs> I also saw a sign here on a uh, Merriman. It was like an auto parts place, and it said this, now hiring great people. I was like, I'm overqualified. I'm sorry, sir. (laughs) Well, most of the people in town are underqualified, so at least you're a... Well, I'm not. I'm underqualified for that, too. I mean, you know, great people. I mean, what's your definition of great people? All right, there was one one on a... It was right before you got to the hospital. It was some some place on the right-hand side, and the marquee said... Some days it's not even worth chewing through the restraints. Really? Was that like a, sit- <laughs> like a signal operator's price? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even tell you. Yes, that's the one. Thank you. I couldn't even tell you, dude. And some days it's, it's just, just like, not even worth I, chewing through the restraints. I was laughing too hard. I almost crashed into an ambulance. Was it, was it, <laughs> was it, was it, awesome. was it just down the street from the uh, mental hospital? Some, some days it's just not worth no. chewing through the restraints. <laughs> I can't get over those places called like the money store. Yeah. You know, this place is called the money store. Like, like, I, 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 buy some money? I, like, yeah, I want to buy some money. Mm-hmm. You know, and, uh, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> I saw uh, at a church not too long ago. I think it was around uh, Easter last year. It was, uh, this blood's for you. <laughs> the, 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 one, yeah, one of my favorites that's said, that's said, that's said, that's yeah. one of my favorites was a church marquee and it had once said God is good just simply said God is good and the D had fallen off <laughs> <laughs> and it just says God is goo <laughs> God in fact has a soft squishy consistency yeah. to him God, God has a soft spot <laughs> God is goo <laughs> And I think God had put, had had fixed that sign himself. I don't think anybody did that. I think the yeah. the D had just fallen off, and and and, and, and the, the, you know this you know they they you know some some preachers say that that uh, that God wrote the Bible, and some say that man wrote the Bible. But in this case, 
it seemed to be an, an even uh, an even <laughs> partnership between the two. And, uh, to write that. Half off every yeah. Wednesday. Half off. Yeah, right. <laughs> every Wednesday. Children eat for free. Oh, there wait, was, it's Thursday. Never mind. There was a horrible one. I, 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 I couldn't take this one. It was a... Uh, I all run down like truck stop gas station uh -huh. with a little restaurant in it. Right. <laughs> you never believe what it said. That's kind. It well, said, eat here and get gas. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That is I was good. like, that's. You have to oh. respect the upfront honesty. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get that nowadays, especially you in advertising. Don't very often, no. I was just like, man, that's just horrible. He's hearing it, yes. That said, <laughs> they say any, they say anything about showers in that too? That's problem. I just saw it online. Golden was, showers, gas, and you know, eat here, and yeah, it could go on from there. Mm -hmm. There was, there was also a, uh, like a like a thrift shop. There was like an antique shop that said a uh, STD warehouse. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> <laughs> what is um, it? Yeah, I, I wish they changed the sign at the Asheville uh, <laughs> bolt and screw. So they say Asheville screw and bolt. <laughs> screw and bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Asheville bolt. Screw and bolt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I think language changes over time and grows and evolves and different things are subject to different meanings at different times depending on the vernacular of a given generation, I think eventually everything's going to be dirty at one point or another. Well, it was like the episode, it was an episode of South Park where uh, it was like the Jared episode and then what happened was uh, that at the end of the episode they unleashed it down because they all started laughing about AIDS for some reason. And they're like, oh, well, we can lace the It's been 23 and a half years since AIDS has been discovered. It's finally funny. <laughs> it takes 23 and a half years before something tragic can be funny. Or a new hair. Sometimes, yes. yes. Sometimes <laughs> it's just never <laughs> sometimes, good. It, it, sometimes it takes longer. What was the other thing you sometimes said? Sometimes it takes longer. Or every second Saturday. Or, the, or, or white two Saturdays. Sometimes or it takes less. Two, two Saturdays. Well, as far as we're talking about it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So everyone started months. laughing about AIDS because it's been 23 and a half years. And it was just... I, I have to share one quick thing. Uh, my This is more than half her lifetime ago. My girlfriend's dad died of AIDS that he got from a blood transfusion when she was 18. This was very early, very, very early oh, on. Man. And it was before they really knew anything much about it. So she recalls visiting him in the hospital when it was so new that the doctors were actually going in in like full environmental body gear because they didn't really know what they were wow. dealing with yet. Wow. So, yeah. wow. For some people, it's never going to be funny. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The thing is, the South Park makes fun of everything. Point. South Park it's does right. make fun of everything. That's true. Yes. Sometimes it's very hit or miss. Sometimes South Park can be absolutely brilliant, and sometimes it's like... This. Well, I heard this one documentary on the show once. They said they could change that ep the episode that's airing that week, a brand new one, like within 24 hours of it airing. So they can go based on world events of last night. They can make fun of it. Mm -hmm. so that's they, awesome. Yes, yeah. they can change the episode like within 24 hours of it airing. So they can add in things that happened two days ago. Like I said, all hopped up on Mountain mm -hmm. Dew and Ritalin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are. They're totally. Yeah. Or they make fun, they make fun of the if you flood. offend Tom Cruise, the episode can disappear. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That, that episode was a good one, the Scientology one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hide in the closet and I'm coming out until you all acknowledge us as a religion. <laughs> <laughs> There's a friend of mine once at work. He told my boss, we, he went in the closet to get some bell wires out. And he came out and he said, Larry, are you a Scientologist now? He's like, no, why? Because like, he just came out of the closet. <laughs> 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 <That's messed up. laughs> because he just came out of the closet. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good day, That's right. Isn't well, isn't I'll, this better than wrestling? Yes. Well, on that note, I must be heading on. But uh, oh, I thought you wanted to wrestle. Uh, I'll leave that to Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton in those two-piece bikinis. Okay. It's nice to have me. Thank right. you very much. It's nice to meet all of you. Nice to see you again. Nice to I will see you again sometime soon. Okay. <laughs> Here you can you can you can get a, a, a more um, um, a visual seat if you like. Uh, you can move down. <laughs> change places. Yeah. Everybody change places. This is like the real thing, Alice in Wonderland. You can, you can everybody drag, up. You can drag your cup with you. 
Yep. I don't want to spill it on the microphone. We good? There you go. Has it, the microphone's ever been damaged by the T? Right, yeah. this is a mic, right? Yeah, that one's pretty dirty. Yeah. Yep. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. No, no. All right. I like that when it has eyeballs in it. Here, I'll back it up. I'll let you see the eyeballs. You ready? Watch, watch for the eyeballs. No, no, no wait. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. There they went. Uh, There'll be more. There they come. Watch them. What the hell? You missed some. You missed oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Weird. Nice. My therapist told me I was crazy, but she was wrong. <laughs> it's true. It's all happening. My therapist is crazy. Right. I tried to tell that her that. That seems to be happening. <laughs> you know, that seems to be more and more the case. Yes. What's yeah. that? Uh, therapists who turn out to be crazy. Well, that's the reason they get into that field, because they want to learn about themselves. Well, I mean, you, you, start a, you start a conversation with pretty much anybody, like, and you talk about them, they're guaranteed to be interested. Just get them talking about themselves, and then they'll be like, wow, yeah, he's a great conversationalist, and uh -huh. da 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 and yeah. Everybody's self-centered, that's the way we're conditioned, that's the way we are. Everything's about us. Right. I, I think that is the uh, default human mode. I don't think I don't think human nature is necessarily good nor evil. I think it's mildly selfish, with an inclination towards cooperation. If you understand that uh, what you're giving the other person in cooperation is something that you would be given back if the situation were reversed, mm. you know, sort of. I think that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Now move the microphone. That's like the basis of respect. Down to sort of yeah. in front of yeah. That that the next no right no yeah still still get some of that okay. So so I think that. most humans basically mildly <laughs> selfish. You don't mind going out of your way if you think the the other person would do the same for you. So how do you like our trace our 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 background? We have uh, um, patterns. Looks like a kaleidoscope throughout. We need some kaleidoscope on Mount Dungeon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we have, we have. Well, this is the only TV show I know with patterns and tracers. Did you know we have tracers? Oh, this is fun. Huh? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. I did Let's not. Let's see it. Uh, yeah. Trace it. Are you ready for tracers?